you're watching Crush TV. I'm Diana Castillo and today we are at La Palmera Mall for the Gold Green Expo and there's a lot of businesses here showing the community exactly how they've gone green. So let's go check out some of the booths. Alright, so we're here with Angie at her booth and it's all about recycling, keeping the city of Corpus Christi clean. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what we have here? Okay, so the way that we launched our recycling program last year was that we surveyed the, the community through events like this. And what we saw last year when we were promoting our enhanced recycling program was that everybody said, absolutely, we don't mind paying for that. It's it's what's good for the for our environment. And so now what we're doing by you know best practices, what we're doing this year is promoting a rainwater harvesting barrel, which is this unit right here. You put it underneath a uh, just a free-flowing water area, probably like a gutter, and then you, you, it has to be elevated so that you can get to the spigot. And then you water your lawn or your uh, wash your car. You can't drink the water from this unit, but still, it's a great way of saving and um, collecting rainwater. It's really interesting. And how will residents go about getting one of these? What's the cost of Right now, we're gauging interest in the community. So, um, and of course, at events like these, people are all about being greener and saving money and just doing what's better for the environment. So, um, what we plan on doing is having maybe like a truckload sale where we'll offer the rainwater harvesting barrel and the composting machine, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but right now, if you want more information, we're doing a giveaway. So, you register for all of these really cool items. We have a kitchen unit some reusable mugs, a reusable photo frame, some biodegradable um, uh, sponges, and our cool little, this is our award, our Corpus Christi Recycles Award. So you register for the giveaway, and once we get more information about these two units, my girls is what I call them, <coughs> excuse me, we'll be getting that information out to the community. Plus we use social media a lot, so if anybody's a friend of Queen City or Pride on Facebook, that's where we get a lot of our information. So that is definitely something to look out for. Definitely I hope to see that here at Corpus Christi. Well, it's exciting. And what else do you have here in your booth? We have our composting machine. Now this is a little interesting too. This is Rudy. He's part of our Queen City team and Brianna. Rudy is also with um, our solid waste department. He serves as safety, so when he's out here, you can be rest assured that we're going to be Most safe. of the time. Most <laughs> of the time. We're not going to be slipping on any kind of wet liquid, maybe. So I'm going to show them this. This is the um, composting machine. And um, this is like a, an old-fashioned stock pot. Of course, we didn't bring leaves or your orange peels or banana peels, which is generally what you would put into something like this. Everything goes in here except for dairy and meat products. Um, yeah, we, again, we call this a composting unit. So what you do is you put all your yard waste in there, your orange peels, your banana peels, your grapefruit peels, and um, every now and then you have to turn it using a compost turner, which this unit comes with. And this is the best type of fertilizer that you can use for your gardens or um, for your around your trees. And the way that you do that is you just lift it up through here and grab your compost out and spread it throughout your yard. And sometimes you'll get a really cool zucchini plant or a grapefruit tree spring up in, in a certain area. <laughs> you, you have to be really careful. And that's one of the cool things. We've heard some remarkable stories today about composting machines. You know, people open it up and there's a seedling in there. So they go plant it and all of a sudden they have a zucchini plant. And then another seedling applies. <laughs> yeah, it's really bizarre. Another seedling shows up, and it's a grapefruit tree. And uh, so the last, the person who told us that story, actually, she said she had to start being really mindful about the seedlings because they planted the grapefruit tree underneath an electrical line, which you know, trees, you've got to be really cautious about that. So this is the other thing for our solid waste department. These are two my girls again, the rainwater harvesting barrel, the composting machine that you'll see coming out of solid waste real soon. Very exciting. I'm really excited about this. I can get one of these, see what uh, I can cook out of this one. And there's worms. You get worms in there too. <laughs> yeah. Those are good. Oh, They're good. good. Well, thank you so much. Bye. Okay, so at this next booth, we're seeing a lot of information about natural gas, and especially this call 811 before you dig. So can you tell us a little bit about what we get? 
sure. The 811 number is the number that you would call in case you want to possibly uh, build a fence or plant a tree. It's important to call it. It's actually the law so that uh, the utilities can go out and actually identify where their lines are running for safety purposes. That's very important, very important. and I had no idea to even think of calling sure. before planting a tree. And there's no charge, it's actually a free service, and again, it's for everybody's safety. And these little cards right here, can you explain what these are? Yes, these cards actually identify each type of utility that goes out by color code. And each, each different utility has a different color, so uh, whenever someone goes out to locate those lines, they will identify what utility is actually present in the location that you're planning to do. Natural gas, obviously the word itself says it's natural, it comes from the ground, and, and it's very abundant, especially here in our area. And uh, it's also very efficient and reliable. Uh, it's clean burning, so it's very good for the environment, and that's why we are a green product. Uh, and it's, again, very abundant, so we need to start using more of it. And the same natural gas that you can cook with and run your dryer, uh, fireplace, and you can also actually use it in, in uh, cars and trucks, buses. So we are talking to different areas, fleets, uh, to convert their cars and, and trucks to start running on natural gas, which is almost approximately about one-third the cost of diesel fuel or gasoline. So it's a great savings in, in that respect. Great savings, and again, and again, a lot better for our environment, Very a clean. lot greener, and it's exactly what we need to do. Absolutely. And it's, and it's domestic. It's from the U.S. of A. Of okay. Anything else that you would like to tell us about? Well, we have, we have uh, lighting. We have gas lighting. We have barbecue grills that, uh, that we actually can actually install in the homes. And uh, whenever there's a power outage, you always will have light with, the, with these gas lamps. So that's also a safety issue. Uh, and uh, at the same time, it gives a great curb appeal to the house. You're very welcome. All right, so now we're getting comfy here with Leanne, and she's part of the Coastal Bend Green Team. So why don't you tell us about this green team? Okay, great. The Coastal Bend Green Team is an initiative that was started by the radio stations owned by Malkin Broadcasting, Hot Z95, 92.7 oh. KA, and 1440 Keys. And what we've done is we've pulled together a group of advertisers that have green initiatives in their business. It could be anything from having fluorescent light bulbs to recycling your paper, refilling your ink cartridges, but there are also businesses around town, for instance, the Association of Builders and Contractors that build green energy homes. There are mortgage companies that will give you discounts um, and a lower financing rate if you are buying a green home so it's easier and more affordable to finance your house. Um, we have local businesses like James Mathis Exxon. If you change your oil or your battery, you can take it there and he will dispose of it for you. Perfect. Yes. Um, yesterday, the Coastal Bend Green Team had an e-recycle day at our radio stations on Leopard and we collected cell phones, computers, keyboards, TVs, VCRs, EVRs. Now, let me stop you really quick because a lot of people don't know this. Why is it important to recycle your cell phones, your TVs, and not just throw them away in the regular, you know, dumpster? Right. Because all electronic equipment has components that, although they are great for conducting electricity, are not things that we want in our landfill. It gets into the water source. It doesn't um, break down properly. So, really, it fills up the landfill and harms the earth. So, that's why we want those things disposed of properly and responsibly. Um, when we benefit Goodwill with all of those electronics, they make sure that those are properly disposed of and they don't end up going back overseas to India and China where children work to take those components apart just to get the little bits of gold and copper that are in those electronics. So tell us, how can residents or businesses get involved with the Green Team? Really simple. Um, you can go to coastalbendgreenteam.com or search for our name, Coastal Bend Green Team, on Facebook and like our fan page. And we will not only send you tips on being green, but we'll 
show you the advertisers that are in Corpus Christi or the businesses that are in Corpus Christi that have green initiatives. You would be surprised at how many companies do. It may be just not printing as many things. It may be recycling your office paper, your ink cartridges, your fluorescent bulbs, those kinds of things. Every little thing that we all do collectively helps the planet. Oh, awesome. So now you know. Join the green team. Coastal Bend green team and like them on Facebook. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. So who knew that you could come to the mall and actually not spend that much money getting your hair cut, your nails done, or anything like that? Tell us why and where. We are located upstairs um, at the Aveda Institute and it's students, um, they perform services on the public. So when they get, uh, when they graduate from cosmetology or their SDology programs, they're able to shorten their apprenticeships whenever they start working at a salon or a spa and they're more educated than the other cosmetology programs that are offered around here in Texas. Very nice. And yeah. they do everything and they're supervised by professionals when they're working on your hair and doing just everything. Talk yeah. to us a little about the service that they provide that you guys do upstairs. We do uh, waterless manicures and pedicures, um, which saves about five gallons of water per customer. Uh, we do um, anywhere from hair color, haircuts, facials, waxing, and they're all um, monitored, like she had just mentioned. So it's a great atmosphere, super edgy, really cool place to be, and um, we encourage everyone to go. Great atmosphere, and there's something special about your guys' building. Can you talk to us a little bit about the treadmills and how you exactly you guys are green? Yeah. Um, well, actually, we have a wind, um, I guess, a wind turbine in the back, and it produces all of our electricity for the whole entire salon, well, salon, spa, school, and uh, it's about 3,000 square feet, and uh, we also have treadmills in the front, and it's uh, you go for about 30 minutes, you get a 15% discount on services slash retail, and it turns kinetic energy into electricity. So you can work out.